Hi, my name is Rob Ray with MP3 Car. I'm here with Jay from DevToaster, and we reviewed their Rev app about six months ago when it got a lot of press and it was really an exciting new product. But now it's still exciting because we're at SEMA 2009 and it just won some uh, interesting awards yesterday. Yeah. So Jay's going to give us a quick demo of what is new since we reviewed it last time about six months ago. Okay, so a couple of things we've added to Rev. Uh, vehicle profiles, these are keyed on your VIN so it's remembered across uh, multiple vehicles. Uh, one thing is you can store your vehicle weight and this is important for calculating your engine horsepower and your, uh, your torque. Um, so vehicle profiles are stored. Uh, a new, another new thing is horizontal orientation is ubiquitous across the application. Uh, gauges, uh, now you can have five gauges on the screen at once and this is a configurable interface so if you want to, for example, move this gauge over to the corner and leave it there, you can. And then if you want to save that configuration, you can do that as well. You can always uh, swipe to the graph view and then swipe back to the menu if you want. Another thing about the gauge feature is uh, we've added, so I'm going to edit this RPM gauge. It's going to pan over and I can add a red line to that. And we can drag it over to you know, somewhere around here. And then you'll hear an audio cue and see the red line go off when that hits that. So once you've got your gauge configuration figured out, uh, you can go to your track day feature, and this tracks live over Google Maps, and you can record this data, and you'll notice it's actually recording the same data that your gauges were presenting before, right here. And then once that run is done, actually I'll, I'll mark a lap right here, and then once that lap is done, we can save it and then swipe back to our home screen and then review all of these runs in our archives. So this is the run we just did on the track. I can step through and here's the data and here are the data points for each of those, those moments when I capture the GPS location along the track. So that's archives. And then finally, uh, in Rev 1.0, we had uh, the initial we had the engine codes uh, loaded up, so codes are in here again. We've added pending codes and readiness monitors and freeze frame data, so you can check your uh, engine light and reset your check engine light. So that's pretty much all that's new. Well, Jay, thanks a lot. Thanks yes, for absolutely. Thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching our blog.